In this question we're being asked to find a rule that connects the y value given the x values in the table. So what we'll do first of all is we'll go through some possibilities. We'll have a look at the first difference. Now in this case 10 minus 11 is negative 1, 7 minus 10 is negative 3 etc. And we can see that the first difference is not constant so it's not a linear pattern. Now let's consider the second differences. Negative 3 minus negative 1 is negative 2 and negative 5 minus negative 3 is negative 2. So based on what we have in the table, we have a constant second difference and we can say that this pattern is quadratic. The basic quadratic pattern is y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. But we saw in a previous example for finding quadratic rules that the table started off at an x value of 0. That makes using the general rule ax squared plus bx plus c quite easy. So we have two options in this case. One option is we can extend our table to the left so that we actually include the x value of 0 and we'll have a look at that one first. Or another option is that we can use the algebraic process leaving the x value of 2 as the first value in our table. Let's have a look at the possibilities. Our new table at the top of the screen shows the y values when we substitute x equals 0, 1, 2 and 3 into the algebraic equation y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. We suggest what you do is pause here and check to see that you agree with those y values. We've then proceeded to find the first difference. In green you can see that the first difference between a plus b plus c and c is a plus b. And then we've gone on to find the second differences which is shown in red. In both cases it's 2a because we have a constant second difference based on a quadratic rule. What we want to do now is extend our original table back to the left to x equals 0 and compare them with the algebraic expressions we have in the table at the top of the screen. In the table below we've extended the x values to the left being 1 and 0. Now let's look at the differences. First of all notice the second difference will be constant, it will be negative 2 all the way through. Now have a look at the first differences. From right to left it goes negative 5, negative 3, negative 1. It's increasing by 2 as we move to the left. So the values of 1 and 3 will be the first differences as we move right to left. Now we just need to remind ourselves about the first differences and how we use them in this case to find missing y values. If we go to the extreme right of the table, 2 minus 7 in the y row gives us a first difference of negative 5. So to achieve a first difference of 1, the missing value to the left of 11 must be 10 because 11 minus 10 is 1. And therefore the value to the left of 10 must be 7 because 10 minus 7 gives a first difference of 3. Now what we do is match algebraic expressions from the top table to numerical values in the bottom table. We can see that the constant c matches 7. The first difference a plus b matches a value of 3. And the second difference 2a matches a difference of negative 2. Now let's have a look at matching those equations. We can see c equals 7, a plus b equals 3, and 2a equals negative 2. It's easy to solve the last equation first and we get an a value of negative 1. We then substitute that into the second equation and you'll find that b equals 4. So our final quadratic equation from that table is y equals negative x squared plus 4x plus 7. Now let's go through the process without extending our original table. So what we'll do is we'll substitute for the algebraic expression ax squared plus bx plus c. Again you may wish to pause here to check to see that you agree with each of the values. But in the first instance if we substitute 2 in for x the y value is 4a plus 2b plus c. We can go through the next few y values quite quickly. Again it's wise to pause to see that you agree with the results that have been expressed in this table. From this table we can see that the initial first difference will be 5a plus b and then the next first difference will be 7a plus b and then the last one will be 9a plus b. It's interesting to look at the coefficients of the a values in each of those first differences. The 5 in 5a plus b matches the sum of the x values 2 and 3. Likewise the next first difference which is 7a plus b, the coefficient of a is a 7 which is the sum of 3 and 4 and the 9 is the sum of the x values of 4 and 5. Following on from those first differences we can see the second difference in each case will be 2a. Now it's a matter of matching up the algebraic values from the top table to the numerical values in the table below. We can see that 4a plus 2b plus c matches 11 and 5a plus b the first difference matches negative 1 
and 2a, the first of the second differences, matches negative 2. We'll express each of those equations and then see how we go about solving them. It would be wise to make sure that you agree with the algebra by pausing and checking each of these solutions. The last equation is the easiest to start with. We can solve 2a equals negative 2 by dividing by 2, so a equals negative 1. Then we substitute that into the equation above, and you should find that b equals 4. If we substitute both of those values into the first equation in green, we should find the c value is 7. Putting those all together, we get an equation of y equals negative 1x squared plus 4x plus 7, and we can simplify that by removing the 1 in the coefficient of the first term to just be y equals negative x squared plus 4x plus 7.